does that sort of thing the the monetary side of it how do you how do you view that now obviously you you said you're dumb you're dumb motherfucker and you probably are but at the time you're playing you're in your prime you're I betting on win. yourself year to yeah. year you want to win all that stuff but is there any part of you now that's like ah man i could have a couple more bucks in my pocket yeah definitely you know when you sit back and think about it you know hindsight um but i just kind of felt like I played on several teams that could have had a chance to win champ, like several talented teams. You know, the Laker team was coming off two championships. I tore my knee. That was my first year with them. Last year with Phil Jackson, Lob City team. I felt like we had a couple of darts. We could have played the Orlando team. I uh, felt like we could have won the finals. Um, so I played with a lot of teams, and I just felt like, all right, if we do win, I know I'm going to have a hand in it because I'm playing a lot with these teams. And then that's when, uh, you know, a, a good situation, I feel like a, a good contract will come, but it, we kept falling short. Um, you know, so obviously it didn't hinder, but I don't really know if I would change it because, you know, it, I got a chance to play with a lot of great players and met a lot of great people. You know, the one I probably turned down the most was Toronto was going to give me like a this was coming off the Orlando, Orlando situation yeah. yeah so that first situation was I was actually going to go to Miami it was weird because I don't even know how true this is I, I and mean, you and I've never talked about this they told me they didn't want to pay me in Orlando because I wouldn't be happy that you were going to make more money than me what, what? <laughs> that's what the fucking from allegedly stand to my agent that they felt like I would be uncomfortable because they were going to pay you more money I'm just like I've never been the highest paid, close to the highest paid. Like, I don't give a fuck about who's making what. So, that was kind of their excuse. So, that pissed me off when, and I kind of felt like it was coming from Stan. So, then I was actually on the phone with Pat Riley and D. Wade. I was about to go to Miami because they were like, wouldn't really say it, but Braun was coming. So, I was thinking, all right, fuck, I'm just going to go up to the, you know, go up the freeway and go play in Miami. And then Toronto gives me a, a nice offer. Um, I want to say it was close to like 20 million. Um, and I'm so I'm, I'm I'm juggling this. I really Toronto's not good at the time. I like I really pride myself on winning. I hate losing. And then out of the blue, I get a call from Cope from a number I don't have saved, and I couldn't believe it was him. First of all, I'm just like you know, you know, what are you doing? I was just like I thought I was coming back to Orlando. It's not happening. I'm actually talking to D Wade and Pat Riley about going to Miami. And he's like, well, shit, you want to be a Laker? I'm, I grew up in California, Magic Johnson fan. I'm like, hell, fucking yeah! And I tell you, like. Four or five days later, I was a Laker. And that's kind of how it went from a nice deal in Toronto to coming to, and I don't even remember what I got to come to LA, but it definitely wasn't the same. But it was an opportunity to win a championship, play on the team I've <clears throat> always, you know, been a fan of and, and get a chance to play with Kobe. And the fact that Kobe recruited me, I'm like, you know, they were just coming off two championships. You know, I'm like, I'm going to go there and try and give me a championship. Did, did you have much of a relationship with him before you play with him? Um, I would always see Kobe, you know, I went to UCLA, so I would always see Kobe. I went to UCLA my freshman year was in uh, 98. His freshman year in league was 96, but I wouldn't want to call him an outcast, but he just didn't really vibe with this team that much. So he was always on our campus, walking around, working out, playing in the men's gym. So I always used to kind of be a fan of him and admire him because I would sneak back into Poly and watch Kobe work out. Or I remember when he broke his right hand and he would do workouts his whole entire whole entire workout would be left-handed like he was a left-handed player so i just it was uh, an, an admiration like wow this dude is dope so i went from that to you know once i got there i knew he was going to be the guy i had to guard to really kind of be something as far as a defender in this league so i just took pride in that so it was always kind of a mutual respect and it kind of boiled over in that orlando situation where we almost fought but then that situation you know had him come <laughs> recruit me and, and brought me to the lakers so we wanted to bring this up the, the ball fake um, because from the one angle on the baseline, it looks like Kobe's a cold motherfucker. Yeah, but from other angles, there was a new angle that just came out like two years ago or something. Yeah, it was weird. JJ, I put that shit right in his face. You know me. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened too. To be honest, with you. like it wasn't like I'm gonna stick the ball in his face. Like literally, my arms did it themselves. It was crazy because I remember it was a back pick for Vince to come around for a backdoor pass, and someone else supposed to think Rashard was supposed to pop out to shoot. It wasn't like, you know, premeditated or nothing, but it was weird because I did see that angle. Maybe it was two or three years ago. It looks like it was just off to the side. And no, that shit went right in his face. Purely intentional. Oh, yeah. 100%. I just don't know where it came from. Like, it wasn't like I was thinking about doing it. Like, my arms fucking did it by themselves. I promise you. Like, 
You guys were basically, but th- that I remember that game. I think it was a Sunday afternoon ABC game. game. National yeah. game was in March, right? For the yeah, playoffs. and you guys were basically were in a tickle fight the whole game, just going at each other. He was. That's what people don't know about Kobe. Like, and you got to guard him, but he's a dirty motherfucker. Yeah. Elbow you, grab you. Remember, he elbowed me in my sternum and knocked the wind out of me, and I wanted to like really like just grab him and fight right there. But he kept. I remember Dwight shot. A jump hook over by and Marcusall and Kobe tried to go on the backside and block it, but it came off the rim perfectly and I dunk tipped it and this motherfucker right where I was landed just stuck his elbow out and like hit me like my nuts, chest, and chin. And the ref standing right there, like, motherfucker, I know you saw this. And the ref just hoo, 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 you know, so it was just like it was a real back and forth. But I was I think that was kind of leading up to the excitement like, well, we're gonna see these guys in the finals again, type shit. You know what I mean? So didn't happen. <laughs> 